Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for Rotec so for clean edge was by the great developer Vikas Acoptimus which has been already released few days ago for the OnePlus 6 and 60 I already given the official clean edge was video you can check that from the right side card then what is the difference between the fork and the normal clean edge was so the fork clean edge was is the same clean edge was built with the some additional features that original clean edge was is missing I found some main major deal breaking features that will make you think between these two different ROMs So today in this video we will see what are the main difference between these two variants of the custom rom and at the end i will give my final verdict is it worth to switch from the original lineage os to the fork lineage os now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure So here i will not show the installation it is the same as the original lineage os you can check that from the icard video I done the clean flash and rebooted to the system. This build has the same signature boot animation of original Lineage OS, but the setup screen was from the Pixel S friends ROM, whereas in the original Lineage OS it has its own setup screen. All the setup of device has been completed. Let's jump to the about phone to check what are the difference between these two ROMs. Similar to original Lineage OS, this build is also Android 12.1 or Cut 12L. With the same Easter egg of Android 12, for clean edges 19.1 has its own Easter egg similar to the original lineages. As this build is based on original lineages of 17th May, so this build is updated with the latest security patch of 5th May 2022. So here comes the major difference in the kernel because I added his own Primus kernel 4.9.227, which is known for the performance and the stability. It's built with the latest Clan LLVM toolchain, while the original lineages has same kernel 4.9.227. but it doesn't have any optimizations this build is prepared on 17th may 2022 based on the original lineage was from the same date basically some minor changes has been done at the kernel level only in the fork lineage was let's check the new feature that we never found in the original lineage was rom comes with the pixel launcher inbuilt while the original lineage was has quick step launcher ultimately some features like the quick switch for the last five wallpapers and at a glance quick shortcut are available in the rom In the wallpaper and style app, we get the all the pixel wallpaper with the wallpaper color and the basic color monet theming. It also has the theme icon setting. All the features are missing in the original lineages. In the recent panel, we get the Android 12L features like the quick search tab for the images and the web links to easily search the images and web links. If you check the stock setting, we get the OnePlus setting, which is not available in the original lineages. In this, we get the toggle to mute the media volume whenever we reduce the ringer volume to zero percent. Automatic high brightness setting available here. We can also change its lux value. DC dimming is included in the ROM along with the instant high brightness toggle. Ambient display gesture included in this setting, which can also found under the display setting of the device. FPS overlay toggle with the different tunable setting is available in the OnePlus setting. The screen gesture setting is getting four slows but it's available under the system setting and there is works but this feature is buggy in the both the lineage os and fork lineage os we get the dedicated vibration control slider to control the vibration strength of the device let's go to the display here we get some amazing feature like the network traffic monitor and its tunables ambient edge lightning is available it has some amazing tunable setting like to change its colors and the duration but it's not working i check it with some notifications Hope it will get fixed in the incoming builds. Separate ripple effect toggle is there to enable or disable the ripple effect when you unlock the screen using the fingerprint. There are some toggles like the location, mic, and the camera privacy indicators, which can be disabled if you don't want the privacy indicators of these apps in the status bar. We can also disable or enable the lock screen charging info using the toggle available in the setting. In the theming section, we get the bunch of options for the body or the headline fonts, icon packs, and the icon shapes. Some amazing theming options available, like changing signal to the different shapes, as you can check on the screen. Similarly, you can change the status bar icons for the Wi-Fi signals by using the bunch of different icons available. At the bottom of the display setting, you get the monet theming setting. There, you can manually add the different custom monet colors instead of default wallpaper-based colors. There are white luminance and the chroma factor slider, which improves the contrast of the color, which looks cool. Linear lightness toggle increases the brightness of the screen and the pure black toggle gives the pure black theme to the dark mode. All these display customizations are missing in the original Lineage OS. In the lock screen setting of the fork Lineage OS, there is a dedicated toggle for enabling the always on display when the phone is on charging. Now plain setting is available but it's not working. 
always on display scheduler is available so we can set the specific timing to enable and disable the always on display in the system and under the gesture we guess the adapt to playback is the feature like the mute volume available in the oneplus setting that we previously seen but here we can set the timing for the adapt to sound in the security setting of the rom rom has the app lock feature which helps to lock any app using the face lock fingerprint lock or the pins or passwords rom has the google photo unlimited backup which is missing in the original lineage os rom has the face unlock which is also missing in the original lineage os i tested the face unlock it's very fast and pretty accurate all these customizations that we discuss here are missing in the original lineage os rom let's check the important parts of tnet surprisingly it's got passed which was failed in the original lineage os so you can now use the all the banking apps or the security related application without the issue wide world is still on l3 so no more hd content for the online streaming media applications like netflix and the amazon prime now let's do the performance test but before doing that i check as the cpu temperature and it's staying on the now around 45 to 47 degrees celsius every time and device feels cool battery temperature was at 37 degrees celsius after doing the geekbench test i got 499 for the single core and for multi core i got 1 at 14 which is slightly lower than the original lineage os on the latest build in the original lineage os i got 500 and 2031 respectively you can check that from the i card video but i felt that the both the roms are very snappy and no lags at all after taking the gpu drivers test in the open gel drivers i got 2237 which is closer to the average results of the geekbench but i got some what higher results in the original lineage os with the 2250 value so it seems that in terms of the performance value original lineage os is ahead of fork lineage os but in the real life performance you can't feel the visible difference let's check what are the feature missing in the fork lineage os as compared to the original additional button setting for the adding some extra features to the alert slider is missing it's available under the system and button tab in original lineage os Media cover art and the music visualizer toggles are available but the visualizer is not working in the fork lineage OS while in the original it's working along with the media cover art. Hey Google is still not working in the both the ROMs but you can use the iCard Magix module video to enable this feature. OT update are available in the original lineage OS which is missing in the fork lineage OS but it will be available soon with the next update. So how is the battery life original lineage OS has some better battery life nearly 5 to 6 hours of SUT with the full day battery uses but I didn't test it this with the fork lineage OS so I can't conclude it now but I will report soon in the comment section battery setting as the new features for the fork lineage OS like the smart charging there are start and the stop trigger sliders available there is a reset battery start to go so you can accurately check the battery uses using this feature This is all about the new fork lineage OS. So what do you think do you need to switch from the original lineage OS to the fork lineage OS? My answer is yes because by default this ROM passes the safety net. It has amazing customization without compromising the performance of the ROM. Fork lineage OS is completely based on the original lineage OS with the some extra stuff only. So originality of lineage OS is maintained here. Now this new ROM definitely got the new rank in my list. At the top there is a Cyber Latest Bit, second is Evolution X, third is the Awaken OS, fourth is Four Clean Edges and fifth is Original Lean Edges. It's my personal choice so it may differ as per your perspective. That's it for today guys. If you think I help you to choose the best custom ROM for your OnePlus 6 and 60, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.